Hello, welcome to Libby Toys. Well, we made Mia into the perfect teenage beach babe, aka this girl girl, and she needs the ultimate teen girl bedroom to hang out in when she's not up. Hashtag saving the title. So, let's see, we'll move her out of the way. We're going to make her whole bedroom on this tan base plate because it's gonna be eco-friendly, it's gonna be a wood flooring, and she she's going to need well, the most important place in a teen girl's bedroom is the bed. So we're going to put it here in front of these beautiful big windows. In fact, there are going to be lots of big windows in her bedroom just so that we get lots of light in that'll help keep her mood up, keep her happy. Now, she needs a bed and apparently if you're a teenager you need a double bed, like a big bed now. So we're going to make it a reasonable sized bed. It's going to be super duper pretty and beachy themed. So it's going to have this beautiful sticker with a French penny on the top. And we're going to make a pretty but not too cutesy coverlet for the bed with this lace overlay. Isn't it so pretty even though it's on pink? It's very girly but it's still appropriate for a teen. <laughs> and it's very very airy and light and, and teeny and gorgeous. It's just so pretty. So we're going to put some little circles on the bottom and this way that means that we can easily detach it from the base plate if we want to. So this is going to go over here actually. If I want to maybe recess these windows a little bit, set them back a bit so that I can, well I'll show you why in a minute, this way I can snug the bed in in front of the windows, make it its own little kind of alcove, its own bed alcove. Isn't that just so snuggy? It's nestled in there. <laughs> it's just in the windows frame it so beautifully. Okay, on either side of the bed, we're going to make little bedside tables and they're gonna have her important things on them, like her water bottle, because it's important to stay hydrated when you're a teen or at any stage in your life. And on the other side, on this teeny tiny bedside table, perfect spot for her to keep her phone. Probably best not to have it right next to the bed, but she's a teenager and she probably won't listen to me if I tell her to put it away anyway. She's got the best white laptop. My goodness, matches her bed spread. <laughs> so everything is so clean and gorgeous looking. Okay, over here we're going to make a bright yellow, sunshiny, cheerful feature wall for her bedroom. And this is where we're going to put an art installation, a beach themed art installation. So that's what we need the inward facing bricks for. I'm just gonna backfill because that's where I need them. And now I just need to fill up the rest of the spaces in our wall. So we've got a darker strip of yellow there, light yellow on the top, and I'll just put this on here to hold it all together. Now, this is a perfect place to display her surfboard collection. because. Everybody's got a surfboard collection, right? It's gonna make the best artwork on her wall. So let me see what, I'm gonna try and put them at different heights so that they don't look too ordered, but so that they also don't look insane as well. So we'll put this one up here and then we can offset the green one to be kind of, well, let's, I think that's the best I can do with where the studs are, but that's cool. And down here we can put her backpack. I'm gonna need a stud so that we can actually put it on the base plate, but I might actually move that over just one stud closer in underneath our sharky surfboard. <laughs> and we've got a nice big space still here to put a little table. And I don't know quite what we'll put on this little table. I mean, this is a flat surface in a teen's bedroom. It's basically gonna be covered in clutter. <laughs> I don't wanna cover it in clutter though. So we'll put a little bit of clutter on. So here's just some of those little books and cluttery stuff that she has got. Here on the side but she needs a plant every bedroom needs a plant so it's going to be a beachy themed plant we're going to use this star here as the base for our beautiful white flower isn't that pretty and we're going to put some green studs in that way it's going to sit properly in the pot there we go i wonder how long she can keep that alive for let's see <laughs> it'll be like a challenge how long does the plant stay alive in the teen's bedroom? Right, so that back wall is looking absolutely spectacular. So good, it's so, actually I wanna live in this. It's so colorful and cheerful. Okay, over here, we're going to put another, we're gonna put another pillar here to match the other ones. And we're gonna put a window next to them. And here, we're gonna put her collage. This is where we're all of her design work and her crafty stuff is all up here on this wall here. And I really, really want to put some fairy lights here around the bed. Because seriously, is it a teen girl's bedroom if it doesn't have fairy lights in it? I want fairy lights in my room. <laughs> Definitely not a teen, but they're so cheerful. I just need to make sure I have enough wall here 
backfill our wall a bit so that I've got places to put these fairy lights on. So let's get these fairy lights organized. We've got a nice bright white string and now we need to put the lights on them. So we need lots and lots of little white clips, but we're going to need to leave some spaces so that we actually have, so we can hang these around the wall. And we're gonna leave those two spaces there and we're going to add more clips along here. And then we're gonna alternate our pretty fairy lights and I really should think about lighting these up, like properly lighting these up, because that would be cool. But maybe for another video, maybe not today. So we're going to make some pretty, 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 pretty lights. And it's going to be so cheerful. In fact, it might even combat all that depressed, angsty teenness that goes on in the teeny years. <laughs> all right, we need some inward facing studs to be able to actually... Oh, I, hold on. I need to mm, lift these up just to the height of the other ones. That should, that should do. All right, so we can put this here, can hook this over here and put this one up and now it's around behind the bed and around the side and it's lovely. It's so cheerful, uh, except I, oh, I know. All right, so I haven't got these quite right underneath. So I just need to lift. Yep, so that needs to go there and I need a two over here to hold those together. And now we're all at the right height and now we can put our fairy lights back up again and the world is perfect order again. Okay, over here we're going to have another little feature piece, this little wave piece here, surfy chick stuff. Oh, it looks great. I'm loving those colors. Okay, let's backfill here with one, and now all of our, all of our wall is at the right height. Down here, let's put some more important things in. So we need some little jumper studs for them. We need her basket, which she's gonna fill full of her hair accessories, <laughs> or her scrunchies as we're going to call them in visco language these these are these these are her scrunchies you just have to imagine they're scrunchies and over here she has got to do a bit of soul searching bit of bit of bit of guitar playing so we've got an acoustic guitar and if we've got an acoustic guitar we need to make a stand for it so that it is safely stored in her bedroom because we don't want to just chuck it in a corner that wouldn't be good for it all <laughs> really throw it on the ground acoustic guitar stand is completed the scrunchies are falling out let's put them back because that basket is super duper full oh, all right I'm really happy with how this side's going let's go and add some stuff to the other side like another window over here and some more yellow just to make sure that we tie in the colors all along the top and I, all right, I would love to be able to create like a fake bear skin or like a fleece for the floor down here, but I just can't do it out of Lego. So instead we're going to have pretty pink mat to match her bedspread, but it's not too girly. What am I saying? It is super girly, but it's also super funky. It's so totally gonna work. Also, because she's busy saving the turtles, here's one that she's busy rehabilitating. So she needs a little rehabilitation tank for this little turtle. So let's make that. Let's let's give her a cute little little turtle tank for the corner of her room. I'm gonna put a yellow window thing in here just because I'm loving all the yellow that's happening in this build. Oh, the yellow and the pink, they're so cheerful. They make me happy. Uh, now the turtle's also happy now because we can give some lights to him or her and that'll help keep them warm while they're busy being rehabilitated. Now, I also wanted to make I want to make a bean bag because it's a teenager's room bean bag. They're, they're just two things that are synonymous in my mind. I can offer the life of me figure out how to make a bean bag out of Lego with the pieces that I have. So this is my second best option. It's like a kind of a circular chair. <laughs> and we're just going to have to suspend our disbelief a little bit and pretend that it's a bean bag. It's kind of bean baggy. It's just not. It's like a bean bag with sharp edges, which defeats the purpose of being a beanbag but it looks comfy it'll totally work in a teen room so we're going to install it over here just on this little stud see nice and easy <laughs> all right this is going marvelously well over on this side I've got a plan for this big open space here so teen bedroom we need a massive mirror and this mirror is actually properly reflective. It's not like the normal Lego stickers that you get. <laughs> and it's also, it's the right size to fit in here, but it doesn't have the little notches in it, which means it'll actually hold in there. So I'm gonna need to do something a bit clever to hold this in here, but let's check out, look at how reflective this is. It's a, like a proper mirror. Look at that, except it does stretch me up a little bit. <laughs> but it's okay. It's not too much of a distortion. So I'm going to put these on the front, which means that the mirror won't be able to push forward any further. 
it will still be able to fall out the back but I'm going to fix that with stuff at the back in a minute. We're going to need lights because good lighting is really really important when you're using a mirror and we're going to clutter it up with all of the teen memorabilia stuff that, that Mia will have collected over the years. She's got the little photo booth stuff here and a, and, and a ribbon. This one's the second place ribbon. And down the bottom, oh, I've got a fingerprint on that mirror. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it off. Down the bottom we're going to put a postcard. So just lots and lots of fun cute stuff. I would cover it with stickers but I don't want to cover this mirror with stickers. But cute stickers would totally be the way to go. Now this way, it's now hinged. Look at that. It's now hinged and, oh, hold on. Now it's a bit, bit low. That's okay. It is a massive mirror. Look, it's like twice the size of Mia. <laughs> Might have overdone that a bit, but I think it's spectacular. And this is, it is for a teen's bedroom. So the bigger the mirror, the better. We're going to put it over here on this nice smooth spot with the jumper stud. Because it's on the jumper stud, it means we can take it on and off and we can also swivel it around to be able to angle it whichever way Mia would like it to be. All right, okay, so all we need to do now is smooth over the top, make sure that all of the walls are tied in together with these pieces we're putting on up here now. And then, then I think this bedroom might be complete. And it's just stunning, it's colorful, it's cheerful, it's definitely appropriate for a beach themed teenager and the mirror is ridiculously large so I don't think we could go any better than that but she's got a pet turtle <laughs> that's pretty awesome all right well Mia has got the perfect the ultimate disco girl bedroom she can update her Facebook status while she's saving the turtles because she's got a turtle in her own bedroom it's all together funky and fun and I hope she doesn't mind but I think I want to move in with her or I'll just sleep in the beanbag. I'm sure she'll be fine with that. Teens don't need their space. <laughs> okay now is the time to subscribe and let me know what you think about Mia's new bedroom. Give the video a thumbs up and I will be back with a new one very very soon. So until then I'll be in the beanbag. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye!